Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone's fabulous. Let's get this party started. Let's get it started. Yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Let everyone know I'm here. Send out the word. Hootie hoo. I don't even know how that goes. I totally just <laughs> ruined that. <laughs> hey, Catherine. Hey, Danielle. What's up, guys? Hey, Mom. So, we have tons of stuff to talk about tonight. I'm going to let everyone, let everyone get a chance to get here. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. What's up, my love? What's up, guys? So, we're going to have some fun. Hey, Sandy. I'm letting everyone know I'm her. Let everyone know I'm her. Hey, Diana. Ooh, guys. I got to show you something so funny. What did I do with the other one? Mm, okay. Found it. I swear one day I'll get everything organized. Oh, Katie, you are. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it dirt. Just... Crapola. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Micah. What's up, guys? Just more like dirt off my shoulder. <laughs> What's up? It is party time. Yay! It's about to go down. Hey, Katie. Hey, Angela. What's up? Hey, Christy. Okay, everybody's getting the hint that I'm here. I've been waiting all day for Katie. OMG, y'all. Mm. Hey, Cindy, I'm letting everyone get a chance to get here before we, like, jump into the dirt. I have been drama-free today. Oh, Katie, thank God. I'm so ready. Hey, Christina. Hey, Amanda. What's up, guys? So, okay. <sighs> I, like, don't know where to begin with everything. Hey, De Niro. What's up, lovely? So. We will address Janelle's post tonight. Hey, Don. Oh, I'm so glad you love the lives. I love doing them. They're fun. We got fun stuff. We're going to do some water slides. We're going to do a honeybee drip, the honey drip, because I finally got the mica. I mixed the epoxy earlier. It's already been setting. So we'll pick the colors. We'll add the colors, and then we'll do the drip. Well, we'll let it get real thick. That's the one thing with drips. It has to be thick. Like my thighs thick. Yes, we are going to have a discussion up in here tonight, folks. Like Sandy said. Um, I think we got a good, fun stuff, fun people. Awesome, Dawn. Yes. I have an excuse to just sit and watch videos all day. A 22-pound frozen roast fell out of my deep freezer and broke my toe. What, Micah? A roast broke your toe. Now that is something <laughs> like that is legit <laughs> thick like my thighs for real in my hips how long does it take for the epoxy about 30 45 minutes you want it thick christy hey vicky oh my god <laughs> i once uh messed up my foot dropping a piece of wood on it trying to stoke a fire so Hey, Kayla. Okay, guys. So everybody is roughly getting here. Most of my regulars all know I'm right here. So we'll get to it. So to address the elephant in the room. I fell off the top shelf, broke my toe. <laughs> De Niro, we'll explain. Hey, Christine. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Okay. So we'll address it. Is everybody ready? Is everybody sitting down? Yes. Nicole, what's up? Okay, so we'll address Janelle's post um, from late last night. It was after my lives. Hey, Helena. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll tell everyone what was going on, and then we will get started on the drip. Okay. So y'all know me. I am not all about um, drama or anything. But when certain things come to my attention where people are trying to um, basically copy all of the hard work we have done in this group to build for you guys. 
Um, that includes not only myself in my lives, Jason, Sandy, um, Stacy, Regina, um, and everything we have built for you guys. When someone comes in to boost up themselves and then completely make a copycat group almost down to the exact same name is not okay. That's like um, a big faux pas in our world. Hey, Nikki, what's up, beautiful? So, it's a big, like, a big fat faux pas. You just, it's a no-no. We all know you you don't do that. Well, okay, I take that back. Some of us know we don't do that. Hey, Valerie. Yeah. Hey, Mandy, what's up? Yeah, we, we've worked really, really hard bringing some great things to the group to build it and to continue to help it grow. And... When somebody blatantly goes and copies it to boost just themselves personally um, is really, really insulting to everything we do for you guys uh, and all of the help. You guys know all of you can message me anytime and I'm there to help that and help you. Shame on whoever you are. Yeah, Elizabeth. So, um, I went blank. <laughs> So it was brought to my attention last night. Somebody in our group went and made a, oh, you're okay, Mandy. We're just getting down to what you already know because you PM'd me. Someone went and made a basic copycat group to what we do in our group. Named it almost exactly the same. Okay. Almost exactly the same. Legit. And wants to only boost themselves. Uh, that's, that's a no-no. We don't do that. That's not what we're about. Um, this is not some sort of popularity contest. This is not some sort of high school. He said, she said, I'm better than you, so on and so forth. Hey, Linda, we're not about that here, okay? Um, we are here to learn and share, and if you are thinking it should be all about you, well, honey, the world don't revolve around you. Okay. Yeah, Mandy. Okay. The world does not revolve around any single one of us people. It revolves around all of us. And exactly like Stacy just commented, it is not a poaching group. Don't come in here to boost yourself up off of our group and our work and then go somewhere else and think you can take everyone with you and make it only about you. Was this a person that has been here from the beginning? Yes, Amanda, in a way. Mm -hmm. Just throw it out the name shame. She was trying to poach members. She lost her right to protection. So, <laughs> okay, Sandy. You can put it, since this will be on um, YouTube for the tutorial part. Put You can drop her name in the comments. And then everybody can read it. Yes, thanks, Joanne. <laughs> so, but that's a big no-no. That's a big faux pas in our um, craft world. You don't. You don't hop from group to group, try to boost yourself up, then go make your own group and think it's some big popularity contest. It's it's not it's not about you. What the heck did I miss? Facebook sucks and didn't tell me you were live. Nikki, girl, since it's not sending you um, notifications, I'll make sure to start tagging you, okay? Yeah, there you go. Sandy dropped the name for you guys. So that person was mad that they couldn't be live at the exact time I am. And I was supposed to basically wait for her. Okay? Yeah. She wanted to be live at the same exact time I am. Now, she made her own copycat group and is going to be live the exact same time I am. So, and was not happy. Yeah, Christy. Um, I just don't want to see it because it's going to be on YouTube. So, Joanne, I'll tag you too. Jennifer, always late. Like, you rushing in. <laughs> I'm going to have to save your butt again, Vicky. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> so, Jennifer, I was telling everybody about the copycat group that was made by someone, um, within our group, boosting themselves, okay? And it's a big faux pas in this world. And you do not want, some of you have seen it, some of you haven't. And yeah, Nikki, it was kind of like you're boosting yourself here and then you're going to go make an exact copycat group to boost yourself. 
and was only mad because she wants to be live when I'm live in my own group. Like I'm supposed to wait. So, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. And saying that, oh, she never got time to go live. There's three nights in a row where I'm not live. Exactly. Brenda, it's very childish. So, last night it was brought to my attention. She went and made her own group. Basically named it almost the same as this one. And then was trying to personally friend everyone and add everyone else. Hey, Jason. She was even trying to take Jason, you guys. Like, legit trying to take Jason with her. So... Awesome, Marva. I'm glad you're back. So I was not about anything like that at all. I alerted the admins of my page. We all talked about it last night. Jason took care of it um, right, right around the same time. I mean, I'm going to go live how many times? There's plenty of time. Exactly, Jennifer. Exactly. I didn't know she created her own group. I watched her here last night. Yes. Yes, she did. That might feel left out. She didn't try to friend me, Angela. <laughs> Hello, there's no way she copycat me even on her. <laughs> I still don't understand. Yeah, you guys, like, I, hey, Jen, I didn't understand it whatsoever because it's not true. There is plenty of time for anyone who wants to be live here can go live. You know, I'm always at the same time. So if you want to go before, after, and I'm off for three days when my husband's home. So all of you guys can uh can be on she might as well na have named her group helen 2.0 <laughs> wow no idea so sorry to say yeah denier no it's okay i mean i watched them too the, this group is called tumblr time with helen is it not <laughs> Did no one tried to friend me yeah guys and i was all for supporting her until i realized that she was out in it for herself and I'm not about, I'm not about, I mean, this is not even about me. I go live to help all of you. I'm already working on cups and I figured, well, for everyone that needs help or wants help, if I'm live, you can watch me do it and I can answer your questions. That's it. I don't get paid to sit here. Um, none, none of, nothing like that. This is all of my own free will, my own free time to help everyone. And I'm just like, to come up off of what I've worked on, what I've built, with others to go and try to make yourself like whatever you want to say Facebook famous whatever tumblr it about you is not okay it's not about us all I ever had to do is talk to Jason he is so sweet and works with people to get them yeah it's kind of sad that you're the kind of person who just wants to help and know and she thought she could say my God, that honestly, it sounds stupid. It happens to me a lot. Um, not just in social media. It's happened to me in um, real life, people to people. But when I saw that, I'm like, you don't go and boost yourself in a group. I mean, I was accused of that in the beginners group. And we all know it wasn't true. So for them to literally happen in my group was kind of just like, okay, was maybe there's some sort of connection you know, just throwing that out there. I don't know. But it is what it is. She's been blocked and removed. Um, she can go and do her thing, all the power to her. But don't don't come in here and boost yourself and then go make a group that's almost exactly the same, in even in the name, and then try to take credit for it. That's That's not okay. It's a big faux pas in our world. We just don't, you don't do that. Just like you don't copy someone's exact cup and then claim you came up with the idea. You you don't do that. Yeah, and she did try to bra drag Bonnie into it saying she gave her a name or whatever. And Bonnie was not having it. And she, Bonnie's just amazing. I wasn't, I knew that wasn't true. It just gets, yeah. Yeah, we all want business and it should not be that easy. That is just demanding to you, Helen. I'm so sorry she did all of it. It's okay, Nikki. I've been gone a week in what I miss. <laughs> yeah, and she did go and block all of us, delete. Well, she went and blocked me and all my fellow admins on Facebook. Um, and I never even said anything personally to her about it. I had only discussed it with my fellow admins. 
and she had already went and blocked uh, me and my admins before we could even say anything. But it's just, you you just don't do that. I, I mean, I work really hard to be here for all of you. I take a lot of time outside of my family to do everything I can for you guys. And for that to be kind of used against me and someone want to personally gain from it to make themselves popular is not okay. Oh, Chantel, her name's been dropped in the comments. I'm not going to mention it out loud. She tried adding me saying you guys were trying to take her members from her group that she had first. I told her to go glitter herself in a hug me jacket. <laughs> glitter herself? I like that. <laughs> trying to take her members from her that... She had my group first, Kayla? What? Okay, let me put this out there. I'm a mod in another group, but it's not a Tumblr group. And I go live a couple nights, but I still come jump on your lives. Oh, Nikki, yeah, I'm not worried about that, hon. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. If you, I don't, I feel you can be a member in any group or however many groups you want. But to do it in a shady way like that, and you're doing it for personal gain and wanting to become popular in a way... That's, that's not okay. You know, Nikki, your, your mod, you can go live in wherever, whatever group you want. And I love whenever you want to go live in our group. It's fantastic to share your knowledge and whatnot. But she was doing it in a not okay way. There's ways you, you go about it and you talk about it. And there's ways you don't go about it. There's ways you don't talk about it. It's not okay to boost yourself in a group that works really really hard to help people i mean i really do and all of you know that to go and then make your own a almost ex i mean to the t exact and then act like oh well it just it doesn't make sense <laughs> yes and me and my admins we chat all day long she claimed she had her group first, and you tried to take members from her group she made before you made yours. I love What, Kayla? That is news to me. Sandy, are you reading Kayla's comments? Just one thing. Please do not accept her and confirm. Every Tumblr group I belong in says no fishing for members. If she wanted to start a group, okay. But ask permission to maybe invite people and don't block. Yeah, and Micah, see, I didn't really... I'm new to all of this, a lot of the drama. Thankful, thank God I have admins who have been in the cup world longer than I have. I did not understand, like sometimes I was in groups and I didn't understand why the rules were so specific and so detailed and don't do this and, don't, and I was kind of confused. But now that I'm in the world a little bit longer, I am just blown out of the water. And now I totally understand, totally understand why all of these groups have those exact rules because I'm like, okay, well now I have to implement them too because that is why there are the rules there are. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jennifer, I'm drowning in orders right now. I will go live again in here. Oh, Nikki, it's all good. I can't wait to see what you're making though. But you you guys understand what, I, what I'm saying. You know, it, it's just... I never realized how much drama there was in, in the Tumblr world, and I'm just, like, blown away. And then I got blocked when I laughed and said, only selfish attention-seeking people stoop to the level she was at. Kayla, I had no idea she was trying to... Oh, my gosh. The glitter world is vicious. I really enjoy this group. Helen, you're awesome. Everyone here, I love you all and appreciate you all. Aw, oh, thanks, Diana. Yeah. And it, it's sad when I'm apparently more mature than people a lot older than me. Uh, listen, I just want to make hot mess tumblers, learn some shit, find some awesome products. Right, Jennifer? Right? Yeah, I had no idea, you guys. No idea that it was it is the way it is. I am like so just poof, out of the water with it. This is the best group, though. We love you, Helen. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, I love all you guys. And the only reason this group was created originally for an overflow group when I was going live in a beginner's group. The beginner's group accused me of exactly what Brenda did because the only thing my lives were, you guys know, 
getting to like two, three hours. And that group was so big, I didn't want to bog it down. So anytime I was live longer than a basic tutorial, I was going to go in a different group to not bog it down and not bog down my business page. That was seen as offensive. They kicked me. It was all drama. So I started only going live in our group. But I've always encouraged all of you to share um, your tips and your tricks. And I answer all of your private messages. So, oh, it's okay, Danira. I mean, it, apparently this happens quite often. So I'm not, I guess I shouldn't be totally surprised. Oh, Joanne, I know. But you guys you guys know I love every single one of you. The only reason I continue to do this is all of the wonderful feedback I get from every single one of you guys. And it it just made me mad that I've we I not just myself, Jason, Sandy, and Stacy and Regina have all put so much time into our page and making it organized and wonderful, you guys, bringing you guys great glitter companies, um, more so in the future. I'm trying to make it fun and interactive. Uh, exactly, Katie. And I don't, I don't claim any design I do because I have no idea if it's been done before. I just do it, and if it's out there, it's out there. If it's not, it's not. And I mean, I'll tell you if I watched it. You guys know. I'll tell you. Hey, I watched this video on YouTube from such and such, and I took pieces from this one and pieces from that one and threw it together. You guys know that. I never take credit for anything exactly I do. Yes, let's do the drip. I was letting it set. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Chelsea. So we're going to put the micas in it and let it get thick. And while this gets thick, we'll do water slides. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I really do because a lot of the times we watch tutorials and there's some things they do. We don't, they go so fast. It's like, wait, what did you do? I missed it. And so that's why I like answering the questions. Hey, Kaylee. <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> okay, so I mixed this epoxy. And look, guys, someone, uh, I got metal stir sticks with balls. So I want to, like, attach them together and have, like, the most unique epoxy stir stick <laughs> You think I could attach him? Would anybody be offended? <laughs> you think, would anybody be a bit offended if I made a dipstick like that? Oh, that's a perfect. And then it's my dipstick. It's literally going to be a dipstick, you guys. Okay. Let's get back to business. Ooh, where'd you get those? Oh my god. Yeah, I want to. Like, I want to, like, see if I can put them together and have, like, my epoxy mixing stick. <laughs> I have only boys, too. Balls to the walls, right? You're all, you always answer them. I'm so glad I can watch you on YouTube. Love the balls. I know. Balls to the wall. I do. Like, I wonder if I could solder them together. Okay. Let's play with some micas. So I have Golden Sun, Golden Nugget from the Glitter Gallery, and Flying Monkeys from Woody's Goodies. And they're all gorgeous, by the way. Oh my god, I'm dying. I got mine on Amazon last night. You might get pregnant with all the rest. <laughs> oh, I might. <laughs> Good thing it's uh, sterile. <laughs> okay. They're beverage stir sticks. Y'all. I'm going to solder that together and have a nut dipstick. <laughs> I know. I'm going to see if my husband can melt them together, you guys. <laughs> Late night rubbing the butt. Talking about balls. Oh, you know it. Hot mess time. So let me see if I can figure out how to open this without making a total freaking mess. I'm going to heat this just a little. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay. So this. 
is Flying Monkeys. And this is a really pretty, I don't know if you can see this. Like a gorgeous gold. I did unscrew it. I'm being careful. It's been 106 here. My AC is working. Oh my goodness, honestly. 106 for like it's been it was like 109 or something outside today and I all I thought was this is the perfect time for anything I spray paint to dry really fast yeah Teresa um Sandy give her the name for anyone that missed it Teresa was hot mess girl I'm a hot mess. Look at this. Where's this microphone from? So Flying Monkeys is from Woody's Goodies or Woods Goods. Woods Goodies. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Straight honey, look. So this one's Flying Monkeys. It's super yellow. So I want to... Oh my God, it was right. It was supposed to be all week. Yes, it has been super hot. But the only thing I could think of was whatever I spray outside is going to dry like that. So that's a little of Flying Monkeys. We're going to add in a little Golden Nugget, and it's from the Glitter Gallery. Jennifer, I know. I'm in San Antonio. Teresa, you know I love you. You know I love all of you. I'm new here and hardly ever say anything, but she sent me a friend's request. Oh, see? Yeah. Night, Marva. Catch it on YouTube, hon. You ever have a question, just message me. So I'm going to take my other ball. I got one nut in a cup and one nut here. So we're going to dip it and scoop it. You can pour that all over your body and Panda would be happy. Ooh, golden, like a golden happy palace. <gasps> Nikki! Like rub it on the <laughs> I'm in so much pain right now, y'all. Another not help. Oh, Denier, I'm so sorry, hon. I hope you feel better soon. I know what that's like. I had pain in places that uh, is not okay to talk about publicly. And, uh, man, that freaking sucked. Took weeks and weeks to heal. Nothing I did helped. This one's Golden Nugget. Gold Crack. Gold member. I'm a gold member. You remember that Austin Power movie, Gold Member? That's what I feel like now. A two nutter. Mm hmm. Got my one nut. So when you do. <laughs> Miss Helen, you should play the game Dirty Minds. You'd probably lose. Oh, I know Dirty Minds, girl. I probably could have invented that game. Ooh, see now it's getting hot and it's getting thick. I can feel the heat on the bottom. You see that guys? That's a little of flying monkeys, a little of golden nugget. And now we're gonna do a little golden sun. I'm just using a little bit of all three. This one's not as super sparkly, but it's got a really good color to it. I'm like inhaling. Somebody's gonna like do a lung exam on me and be like, why are your lungs coated in gold? Because like, bitch, I'm awesome. <laughs> oh, kidney, girl. I've had kidney stones. I had to have the, the lithotripsy, the laser on a kidney. Freaking sucked. What? 
I mean, I had a, I made a gold peen straw top. We called it my gold member. Oh my God, I love that. I, I epoxied a little, I don't know why, Jennifer. I read that, but it said, y'all, I exploded a little nightstand. You got to share pictures. I want to see the epoxy nightstand. Someone tell me where I can get the peen straw topper. Girl, if I could make a mold, mm. I know who I'd make a mold of. Okay, look at this gold. What do you guys think? Does this look pretty good, honey? I think it's got a really good shine to it. It's not overly done. I like cheese sauce. It's making me hungry. Yeah, I think this is good, you guys. What do you think? It's got a really gorgeous tone to it. And it should be just enough to stand off against this. Yes, honey. So this was a little bit of all three. Um, each are from a different place. So we're going to let this get even thicker. When you do drips, okay, the thicker the thicker you let the, uh, the epoxy get, the more you control the drip. When you do, um, I'm going to take off my gloves because I don't want my water side gold. When you do drips, guys, whew, okay, my bad, I'm rolling all over the place. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Jessica, I did say I got mine, but I don't know if I'm allowed. Well, what? I don't, get, I don't get to catch that many lives, so I'm not sure the rules. Oh, Kaylee, you can say where you got it. I can't get the arm out of my turner. I must have had <laughs> You're probably sealing it shut. You can say Kaylee, that's fine. Okay. So you want, I mean, you want this sucker thick. Popping some bubbles. I mean, it's getting hot. But you want this really thick. The thicker, the better. When you do a drip, you have to babysit this sucker. And I mean babysit. You don't want the drips that, I mean, just like splurge all down the cup to where it looks like, you know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want it to cover all of your decals. You want it, a drip you can really, really control. So it's going to take, ooh, as I say that, it's going to take a lot of like holding it like this, holding it like this. So make sure you have a um, really secure handle to kind of play with your drips where you can just keep going up and down to control. Yes, Glitter Craze did have them. I think the keychains, the straw toppers. Oh, phew. Oh, I get mine. Oh, yeah. Glitter Craze is awesome. I love Tammy. I think we added Tammy here. I thought I did, Jess. I, I didn't go click through everyone. They're still out of stock. Okay. So, for this, though, you I don't want to cover all of the really great decals we worked on. So, I only want the longer drips in the appropriate spaces. You know what I'm saying? So, I want it mostly a rim. And then drip drops here and there. I'm so afraid to F up a cup if I try this. Kaylee, if it doesn't work, you can always remove it. But, I mean, you want this thick. The more control you have, the better. I mean, this is getting pretty thick. Don't be scur. We all screw up, hon. I 
daily, especially with decals. I waste so much vinyl. I am not the best vinyler. So this is getting like a caramel texture now, real thick. So we're just gonna keep letting it go a little bit longer and just mixing it and checking the, the drip. Helen, your cup is melting hot, honey. Oh, this was already like that, Nikki, from the heat gun. <laughs> this was already from the heat gun. This was not from the, the epoxy, thank God. It's a pretty thick plastic. But it's getting there, guys. We are getting there. Real slowly. See? It's thick. And you don't, you want to wait until it's not rolling as fast down. Because that means that's going to be more and more that you're going to have to like turn upside down. Go back and forth. So just let it get thick. Looks like wax. Girl, I am not waxing myself on here. Mm -mm. Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. Looks like Laffy Taffy. I've stripped two cups this week from Messums. So I know. So don't worry. Yeah. And I mean, sometimes... We are all going to have screw-ups, guys. I, daily, I throw away a lot of vinyl, mostly, because it's a hot mess. So, it's definitely getting there. We're going to just leave it a couple of more seconds, a couple of more minutes. And I will show you, here is the beginning of the other cup. Here's from the red. Tonight, we're going to do the white. But that's the red with, uh, y'all, something's touched my leg. It's driving me nuts. This was with Fire Pit, and I sealed this, so the glitter's a little duller, but that's with my Krylon Glitter Blast sealer. My Glitter Blast. So, I also have a cup over here for tattoo, uh, tattoos, for water slides, because I needed to redo, I don't know how many people remember me telling you this, I had to redo the water, uh, the storyboard cup, because... It had a manufacturer default. It, it always tests your cups, guys. It did not stay cold, so the vacuum seal on it was, was bad. So I already have one here that has all the glow powder on it. I just need to decal this and seal it. Has anyone ordered from Unicorn Dust? No, I've never heard of Unicorn Dust. Yeah, like Vicky said. Okay. But I'm afraid to start a water slide. And then this is too thick. Ooh, I think I know what that one's going to be. That, Regina, that is the only freaking peak you're getting. You're not going to get to see me decal it or nothing, you peeker. But yeah, it looks great, right? Ooh, this is getting good, guys. How do you test it first? Let's start working. So I would suggest, like, just putting some ice in it with some water and to see how long it stays cold. Because the other one... She sent me a picture. Was creating condensation. Okay. Yeah. If you shake them and there's a rattling sound. The seal's busted. It didn't make a rattling sound Nikki. But it started creating condensation. None, the ice didn't stay cold. and The drink didn't stay cold. The ice melted. It was a disaster. Ooh this is getting good. Look at this. So that's about as thick as I want to get it. It's going to be hard to smear, but we're going to work on it. It's like caramel. That that's a good um a good idea to remember. You want it like caramel. I mean super thick, like caramel or nougat where it's just barely moving. That's what you want. Nice. You're such a tease. Girl, you know it. That's what my husband used to say. <laughs> I did, Vicky. I did post the I Love Lucy cup. So I'm going to put out something to cover up the table. Probably should put back on gloves. In case I have to touch it, because I like to touch it. Mmm. 
shit. Melted butterscotch. That works. I've never seen melted butterscotch, but I guess you're right. I switched devices. Did someone ask where to buy a penis straw topper? Uh, yeah, Ashley. I think uh, they told her the the gritter, gritter, glitter craze, glitter craze. Okay, so we're gonna get this son of a gun on, and we're gonna play with the drip. This can go wrong. This can go right. This is my first drip. We're going to find out. I have done a lot of drip research. I have watched a lot of drips. Uh, but just because you watch somebody do something does not mean it's going to work for you. So we're going to find out. Ooh, yeah, this is nice and thick. I'm going to have to treat it kind of like a candy. It almost looks like um, cheese. <laughs> you know that squirty cheese? That you use on crackers? What do you guys think? It's not really dripping, so I might have to force drip, which actually I don't mind. Guys, it's not even dripping. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a drip. And yes, I made way too much honey. That's fine. You guys. Let me turn it. What do you think? I don't want to heat it. I can, uh, I'm going to control it more. I actually like that I can control where my drip is going. to be because I did not want to cover up Winnie the Pooh. It is thick. 
It's supposed to be thick, Mom, Jesse. Could you cover the lid with leftover? You probably could. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm making a wave in it similar to the cartoon. And I don't have it covering the complete rim, so the lid still goes on. Okay. What do you think? Sound off. Oh, I need one right there. Doesn't it look like straight honey? <laughs> hey Janelle. Hey Lanny. Yeah, like guys. That totally looks like his honey from his uh, cartoon. It's supposed to be thick, Jesse. Can someone update me? Is that epoxy? Yes, Lanny. This is epoxy and we let it sit about 45 minutes. Now, if you want more runs, like if your decals are further down, you could totally make it, use it when it's thinner. But I'm actually liking where I can control it. So none of my um, top decals have been covered up. Looks like mustard. Have you seen the cups where it's like whipped cream on the lid? Yes, I have. They use like that, that spackle stuff. Okay. A Hocus Pocus book cup? I've seen that. Okay, so what I didn't tell you guys is I ordered some um, designer vinyl for us to do a full wrap tutorial. It's going to be amazing. I got like, um, it's like a Fortnite picture and I got them from the Glitter Craze. 
Disney, some Marvel, and we'll do some wraps and different things like that. I mean, you could probably make this even darker, honey, but I like that the color of it stands out against the darker inks and Winnie the Pooh. But I'm pretty happy with that. I did not, like I told you, I did not want it covering Pooh. Now let me clean my stick. Can some of them be longer? Yeah, they can be. Like if you want to, um, like if I want to pull this one down because it's so thick, I could totally pull it down like that. So like if I wanted to make this one longer, I can pull it down. See? You can pull them all down. See? Yeah, I would never cover up Winnie the Pooh. But now it looks like straight honey. I know he has one with honey. So like if you look in the picture with honey, it looks like the honey in his pot. See right there? Let's see if I can show you. See the honey in his pot? How it drips just like this? Looks just like that. You guys see the honey right there? Looks just like this. Do you have a business edition for Silhouette? Saw a tutorial in another group today on how to warp the design before printing it if it, so it fits perfectly on the cup. But it does me no good because I have Cricut. Um, yeah, I have, I have thought about upgrading to the business edition. It just costs a lot of money. Well, not a lot, but it's like 80 bucks. And look, none of it is on the rim, you guys. So that's not going to affect how the, um, how the lid goes on at all. This is all below. It's like he's watching the honey come to him. <laughs> kind of like, whoa, it's coming to me. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. Maybe except this drip right here. But if you want a more liquidy move, let your do it before your epoxy is that thick. But because I wanted complete control over my drip to make sure it didn't cover anything I didn't want covered. Yeah, there you go. This was, actually, Teresa, it was originally just to make, and when somebody realized I was doing it, they um, paid for it. But there you go, guys. Look at that. The rim is fine. You're not going to have to worry about your lid coming on. Okay, after that dries, do you put another layer of epoxy? Is it shimmery? Yeah, it shimmers in the light. It's got a gold-like reflection to it, for sure. Yes, you would put um, another layer of epoxy on to seal it. If you wanted. I mean, I know some people have done drips and they don't seal them.
Okay. Okay. Just putting more wave into it. But if you wanted it further down, dripped anywhere, all you do is play with it. I have my Explorer Air to Silhouette Cameo 4 Pro. I have no idea how to use Kaylee, I can show you how to use a Silhouette Pro software. Do you go over the drip with the epoxy? Yeah, Jennifer, I think you do. It does look like cartoon honey. That's kind of what I was going for. A lot of subject, but does anyone in this group do screen printing? Screen printing? Like for shirts? I don't know. I mean, I have all this extra, but that's fine. Well, I don't want to put little drips in the middle. I don't want to take away from everything else about this cup. Okay. This cup is beautiful. I know. I love it. Ghost Adventures is gay. Girl, we watched an episode last night. I gotta try to clean this. Mm, where's my alcohol? Now I'll have to dip it in acetone. No, I heard something fall, but nothing like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna need acetone. <laughs> okay. Have you watched Warrior Nuts? No, Denier, I've heard so much good about it, though. But there you go, guys. That is how we're doing the honey drip. I'm really happy with that. What do you guys think? It's not too much. I think it's just enough. They're not super long. Um, they're not overdone. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. The site is Swing Design Business Edition. Yeah. So now I'm just going to hold it like this for a little bit. Don't necessarily have to, but so you can seal the dip if you want to seal it, okay? You don't have to if you don't want to. I feel like licking it. <laughs> like, nah, no, I'm not gonna do that. 
This looks good, right? That is so perfect. I'm so happy with that. Yay, it worked. It worked. You have no idea how worried I was about this. I was like, you know what? I've never done a drip. I've done a lot of research on drips. But I've never done one. And I was so worried. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to do this live and I'm going to screw it up for everybody. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with it. Y'all, I'm kind of sad I sold this cup. I should have kept it for myself. I want to walk into the Disney store with this thing. Well, after Corona, walk into the Disney store. <laughs> like, y'all, look. Oh, where'd you get this in here? Girl, I didn't get it in here. I made it. I made it. I'm going to have to make a second. I'm going to make another little drip. Right here. Next to the B. There we go. There, I made another little drip right there. Twenty minutes ago, my daughter was going to lock the back door. Next thing, she throws herself to the floor because somehow the white canopy on the back porch looked like a clown sitting outside. <laughs> Helen, if you're happy with the cup, leave it be. I know, Nikki, right? Like, tell me to stop touching it. Oh, wait. I know, Manny. I've never gotten to do a drip cup. This is the first one. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to set it away now. So I don't keep touching it because I don't need to keep touching it. And if I don't set it away from myself, I'm going to keep touching it. Super happy with that. Ah! Leave it alone! Okay! Okay! So, yeah, I made way too much epoxy. Normal. I gotta wash my stick because my nut's dirty. <laughs> Got a dirty nut. Let me put this aside and we'll do the water slides. I do, we are going to do a fall peekaboo, but it'll be leaves, maybe some pumpkins, um, with, um, rustic alcohol inks over it. Be a good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Mandy? I'm just like, mm, I want to do a little this, a little that. But if I don't stop touching it, it's going to mess up. And then I'm going to be PO'd. Okay. Water slides. Here's a storyboard cup. Here's a little nubbin. Do you event So do you eventually epoxy the entire cup? Teresa, some people do, some people don't. Uh, from a lot of my research, that was very up in the air. <laughs> uh, when you're suggesting washing your balls during the pandemic. I always suggest nobody wants dirty balls. Keep your balls clean. They should be nice and shiny and smell good. Whether they're in your nose or on your body. my water everyone likes clean balls all right so our balls are clean I'm gonna get our decals and I'm gonna get that little um tattoos so I took the same images as last time. I could not do the same tattoos because I don't have them. I used like one of what was only in there. Balls in your nose. Yeah, you know like the nose piercings where they have like a little ball like in their nose. Like those nose piercings. Or like a tongue piercing. Like that. Keep the balls clean. 
And it was like, meh, meh, in there. Hey, Tina. Girl, you miss everything. Everything. Here, Tina. Let me show you the honeybee cup. It's finished. There's the honey drip. Good cover, Ellen. <laughs> Nobody likes sweaty balls. There you go, Tina. That's the honey drip. You missed it. Okay, let's do water slides. Stop talking about balls, y'all. Balls to the walls. I know, I love it, Tina. It came out. Ooh, amaze balls. <laughs> amaze balls. You missed all the drama explanation. You missed amaze balls. Beautiful, huh? I know, Tina. It's gorgeous. The drip worked great. The drip worked great. And that's my first drip. I want to do... We'll do a... Um, we're going to do a drip on the Fortnite cup. The one I'm making for my son for his birthday. Um, that we're going to do together. I got to get glow in the dark vinyl for it. And stuff like that. So we're going to do... Um, another drip. But it'll be a glow drip. On a Fortnite cup. And then I wanted, I'm debating doing a drip on the Hocus Pocus cup. What do you guys think? Should we do a drip, yes or no, on Hocus Pocus? Maybe a purple drip? Everybody does green. Green will be on the Fortnite cup. We aren't talking about balls. We're typing about them. You are talking about balls. Well, fine, Nikki. Rub it in. Oh my God, I need to know. Yeah, Tina, we did the drip together. Nikki, I'm ball obsessed. Yes, purple drip. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, purple drip. Can I get a list of the fort? It's cup supplies. Oh, yeah, Lanny. Um, I'm getting them Thursday, so after I order what I uh, figured out I need, I'll post a, um, a picture. Oh, his birthday is August 16th. Mine's is the 23rd. My youngest is uh, the 23rd. Yes, yes, I will put a, um, so one of the vinyl wraps I got is a Fortnite picture. Um, I can't remember which one. I got a bunch of them from Glitter Craze. I love you too, Nikki. So, uh, when I get my vinyl in that I ordered, I'll show you guys. But we're going to do Fortnite. It'll be black with glow-in-the-dark vinyl. It'll have his favorite skins, a green glow drip. It'll be a green colored and it'll glow. The vinyl will glow. 23rd of what? August, Jen. August 23rd is my husband and size anniversary. Aw, oh, well, happy early anniversary, Danira. It's a great cup. It's a great day. My son wants a Fortnite cup also. So it can just make... Yes, Lanny, we totally could. I think that's awesome. Yeah, he, he wanted a Fortnite cup. So he wants his, like, favorite skins. I'll have to find the decals. Um... I'll print them on water slides and then put them on glow in the dark vinyl. So the skins will be colored without glowing and then at night they'll glow underneath. Does that make sense to everyone? They'll glow underneath. I did see a lightning bolt vinyl too, but I did get some great vinyl pictures for us to try full wrap cups. Eventually I will try to get some fabric for us to also do a fabric cup. I've not done a fabric cup yet, but we'll do it together. Oh, you're a Virgo, right? I, Jen, am a Gemini. My son's a Virgo. My mom's a Virgo. I am a Gemini. I'm still trying to figure out what design cup I want to make for myself for my birthday, which is a week from today. Ooh, well, happy birthday early, Kayla. Better have some cake for me, girl. I love any excuse to have cake. Can you tell? Cake. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. My son would love one like that. Yes, Denira, that's kind of what I've been playing with in my mind. We'll put, we'll make some clear water slides like this. These are clear. And we'll put them on underneath printable, uh, cut out vinyl. What size are you making? Um, probably, I don't want to make him a 20 ounce. He's only eight. He's only going to be eight. Hey, Taylor, girl, you missed it all. So I'm thinking, um, something underneath a 20. So maybe 18, something. Gemini's rock, Helen, so am I. Oh, Bonnie, that's why we are matchmade in heaven. 
I gotta make my son a biohazard cup. Is that a game, Nikki? Biohazard? Haha, <laughs> I will definitely have an extra piece of cake for you. Good, Kayla, because this runs on cake. I need a shirt that says, this runs on coffee and cake. <laughs> hey, on a uh, dang time zones. It's okay, Erica. Half my fans are Virgos, too. I asked my kid who's turning 16 what he wanted. He said a Fortnite cup. I'm cool with that and to get him his permit. <laughs> of course. Driver's license and a Fortnite cup. Taylor, you missed it all. Here, Taylor, I'll show you. So we did the drip on the Winnie the Pooh cup. Hold on, guys. We're going to show Taylor the drip drop. Coffee, cake, and glitter. Oh, my God, Kayla. Someone make me a shirt. I'll pay for it. But yeah, Taylor, what do you think? That's our honey drip. It was really thick. I wanted to control where the drip dropped. Drip drop, can shop. Oop, this went a little too far down to the A. There. So I'm going to set it uh, upside down now for a little bit. I'll do it. For real. Tell me how much. Big girl size. I got to fit the girls into something. <laughs> Coffee, cake, and glitter is what I run on. And then on the back it could say Tumblr time with Helen. <laughs> yes, we all should. We run on cake, coffee, and glitter. And then we'll have the name of the group on the back of our shirts. We'll all be losers and have group shirts. <laughs> Y'all, for real. How do you get epoxy out of your hair? Katie, I legit got epoxy in my hair the night we did the, um, the paint cups for the beach. I used Dawn dish soap and I took the hair and I rubbed it out. Dawn dish soap. Oh, really? Yes, Denira, right? We need shirts, you guys. All of you that make shirts should make shirts for our group. Pink and I love pink and turquoise. We could do black and turquoise with pink and then like cake, coffee, glitter. And like glitter vinyl. <laughs> yes, we should. And on the back, put Tumblr time with Helen. Yes. Jen, someone posted. Someone posted what? What did I miss? About the shirts? What? I get epoxy in my beard all the time. <laughs> Lanny, you're the only one in this group that's going to go next to Jason. I got epoxy in my beard. <laughs> Thank you. I messed up to move my hair out of my face. and out of Oh, yeah. Do it. My favorite color is pink. Yes. Or rubbing alcohol in Aussie's three mir minute miracle conditioner. Car oh, Carol Baskin. Oh, oh. Screenshot Carol. I can make sure it's a little doodles. Nice. Guys, yes. Make us shirts. Start telling us where we can all get us a shirt, but I need big girl shirt. <laughs> kind of outnumbered, but you ladies are awesome. Lanny, you are you and Jason and all the men are always welcome. I don't I've never got epoxy on my husband, but I think that's because I don't touch it when he's not here. But I do get glitter on him all the time. He goes to work like when he hugs me goodbye. And we all know glitter is everywhere. He always has it like somewhere <laughs> on it. <laughs> yes, somebody make up like a shirt as a, like a template and post it. It will totally get shirts, guys. Hey, beautiful. What's up, Shirley? Girl, you miss everything. Yes, I need a big girl shirt because these girls got to go somewhere. They like to breathe. <laughs> Let's get to water slides. My girls like to breathe. Okay. My husband keeps trying to touch my cup while it's funny. Mine always, like, he'll he'll stop and he'll go, Oh, uh, is it dry <laughs> before he does anything? Oh, you were on a conference call? It's all good, girl. It's all good. Even if we're talking about disliking dirty balls. <laughs> Even if we say we don't like dirty balls. <laughs> Nikki said she needs an extra large. Girl, I need one more bigger than the extra large. I started, I start driving down the road and see a piece of glitter on my nose and it gets 
looking at it. <laughs> I know my uh, my husband's coworkers think he goes to like the strip clubs or something. He's like, dude, is your wife like a stripper or something? She's always got glitter. And I'm like, no, if they ever saw me, they would know this is not the body of a stripper. <laughs> not a good stripper anyway. <laughs> Let him touch it when it's super sticky. We're prepping for my sister's graduation party that's this weekend at our house. And let me tell you, when you say glitter is everywhere, it's everywhere. That's all I hear my parents complaining about. Yeah, I know, Taylor, right? Just like it's everywhere. It's on my kids. It's on my dogs. It's it's everywhere it shouldn't even be. It's in clean laundry. Explain that to me. Glitter is in clean laundry. It doesn't even disappear in the wash. Like, my wash machine sparkles. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> let's, let's decal this. Sh sh shiza. Okay. Which one's the big enough one? I can't remember if these are exactly the same size or if one is smaller than the other. I think these are the bigger ones. And then these are the same size. Okay. Let's get it going. Mine too. Sounds good. I'll whip up a few designs tomorrow and post them and try to search for myself as an example. Send me PMs. My husband gets told don't ever touch don't ever touch him every time he comes in my office. <laughs> Shirley, if you think that's hilarious, you should have been here earlier. I worked at a strip, strip club for 10 years as head of security. My wife used to complain about the glitter I brought home, but now we're both crafted. It's everywhere. <laughs> He, al he already ruined one of Katie had a slap ten silly. I went grocery shopping and had glitter all over my forehead and I went to two stores. No one told me. I got this lady that kept going through our recycling. I had a few cups that were real tacky I threw away. I'm super excited though. The basement finally became my complete office space. Nice, Taylor. It's frustrating when it ends up in a cup. Yeah, when you're trying to do a non-glitter cup and it's stuck in there, you're just like, oh, get over it. Yes, Kayla, do up something and let us know. It was his, so serve some rice. He wanted his little finger, grubby little fingerprints in it. Like, ooh, like a kid like that can't touch candy. Like, ooh, what's this? Y'all. Okay, so we're going to drop the water slide into the water, wait a little bit, adhere to the cup. Now, you know my water slide rules. I wet the cup before I place my picture. Makes it easier to handle. And I spray sealed this. Ooh, this sucker curled up like no tomorrow. I spray sealed this two or three times with a clear gloss enamel. And I mean thick. He actually stuck a piece of paper to it. Messing with Oh, no. Getting ready to start a black and gray sleep. Alcohol. Any suggestions? Yeah, don't let any glitter near it, Lanny. I literally tell anyone who orders non-glitter cups that there will most likely be some glitter on it. For real! Sandy's the only one. Reusable bath. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see, Nick. I gotta get this done. All right, pulled. You're going to make it with the water on the cup, you guys. It makes it really easy to be able to maneuver. And I forgot my brush. Oh, no. I don't know if I can use this brush. Hold on. Where are all my brushes? There we go. Had to find my brush to remove the waters. Okay.
There's the first one. Did you find an easier way personally? I like to reverse the image and press it on like a tattoo, but there's a pretty head. Lanny, I just do it normal way. Really? Water slides look hard to me. No, I don't have, I actually prefer water slides. Wear one to the clinic. Wet before rubbing. Helen's rules. Yes. It's got to be moist. Isn't that like everybody hates that word? It's got to be moist. They're really easy, but I like tattoos better. Yeah, tattoos have a lot more color to them. When you print the water slides, do you print one on page or do you fill the page? I have no idea if the paper can go through the printer twice. I'm ready for... Okay, so Ashley, for water slides, I fill up a piece of paper because, like, even printable vinyl, if I only need one or two images, I will put duplicates of anything. So if I get a... Um, request for a repeat cup. I already have extras and I don't have to make more. What's on the bottom of that? A nubbin. What do you think? It's for the um, bottom to screw on, but I call, when my husband asked me, I told him it's the nipple. <laughs> it's the nipple. <laughs> it's a storyboard cup, Lanny. It's one of those, like you shake it and everything is in there. Moist is a good thing. I don't know why everybody hates that word. If it's moist, if it's not moist, I ain't eating it. Like, I love it juicy. Like a burger, it better be like moist. Cake, I like moist. Nobody wants dry anything. Who wants a, it better be dry? Nobody says that. Okay. Ugh, y'all. Well, I mean, right? Who looks at something and goes, I want it dry? Nobody. Oh my god, I need help with the printing. I have a Mac and I feel like I can just fill up, fill up there. What do you mean you can't fill up the paper? So you can save them for later use. Yes, Ashley, you can. That's what I do. I have a whole entire thing of um, decals that I already made. My wife cringes at the word moist, so of course I use it all the time. Nice, Lanny. I sure would. Okay, so I was just letting this dry before I do the next side. Y'all, isn't this adorable? The great thing about taking the tattoo image, hold up. Okay. The great thing about taking the tattoo image is um, you don't lose any of the really great details from the, the picture. You know? Thanks, Helen. You're welcome, Ashley. I want a dry towel, but that's it. Yeah, like the only thing that should be dry are like your towels and when you want to dry martini. But I don't even like dry alcohol. It has to be sweet and soft. If it's dry, I'm like, <laughs> like what is wrong with you? Who drinks that? I want to re to pre-print the water slide so I can use all the paper. But with the photos on the Mac, I cannot customize the right sizes. So I feel like I waste the paper. Oh, well, what design space do you use, Erica, for your water slides? My daughter's the same way, LOL. So now I tell her her cake is the opposite of dry. Oh, uh, cake is the opposite of dry. That's funny. Okay, so now this side's dry. And I'm not going to lay this down because I feel like I'm going to schmooze it. So we'll just uh, hold it. Hold it. Hold everything. Okay. That's wet. Ah! It keeps like curling like a potato chip. I don't know why I said potato chip. Potato chips really aren't curly. So, after did you buy that as a tattoo? Um, Micah, I took the image, I know it's a faux pas, and I scanned it. To make the water slide. I also, you can also find the image on Google, but I scanned the tattoo to make sure the picture was as crisp as it could be and use that. Melissa, why are you always late? You missed all the good stuff. You missed all the good stuff. You're going to have to catch the replay. Okay.
but I did buy the tattoo. I have the big one and then I have the half sleeve. <laughs> You'll have to watch the replay. So far I have just used the photo apps, but I do have design space for Cricut to use, but I'm not sure to use it for water sign. You can use the design space for Cricut and then just click printer. I use my silhouette design space. Okay, guys, what do you think? So there's that one. There's that one. And I know a lot of people are like, why does it have a funky shape? Because it's a tattoo. Helen, where's your silicone brush? I don't have a silicone brush. Why do I need a silicone brush? I use a dry bristle brush. Does it give you that black box like it does for printing cut? I don't know for Cricut, but Silhouette does. Not... Uh, but if you're talking about for water slides, Kaylee, just don't turn on, don't turn on registration marks. Turn them off. If you're only printing right through the printer and you're not going to cut it on your machine, you don't need the registration marks. You can turn them off and then it'll free up more parts of your paper. Unless it's a white water slide, then I need super clean lines and I use print and cut for like print. Yeah, if you need, if it's white water slide and you want super cut lines, um, then I would definitely cut it with your machine. I don't use design space for my water slide as it sways too much paper. I use a poster making program to do my water slide and then cut them out by hand. Nice, Bonnie. I only use um, clear water slide paper and for any colored images, I use printable vinyl. I don't use white water slide. Is it tattoo or water slide? Because you keep saying tattoo. So it's a picture, Linda, of a tattoo. This is actually a picture of a tattoo that I turned into a water slide in my design space. These are also water slides. And then these ones are tattoos. So we're going to apply the other water slide images I have to fill up the blank spaces right here. And all of this underglow is orange. So this will glow in the dark orange. Yeah. Okay. So I have these other singular images that are water slides. These, you guys, the image quality from these is amazing. Look how, this is so clear. This one is so pretty. This one came out nice. As did this one of Sally. This one, these came out really, really good. How long after the water slide do you epoxy? Teresa, I let my water slides dry overnight in epoxy the next day. Do you use glow spray paint or glow mica in the epoxy? Um, mica, I use glow powder in epoxy. I did get a can of glow spray paint to play with. My husband bought it. Yeah, I did do one already, Jen, but it had a manufacturer default on it. The, the vacuum seal didn't work, so it didn't stay cold. So I had to remake it. I know these came out really nice. I was like, dang. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna cut around this extraness because I don't need it. I'm gonna set the cup right there. Stay. Now remember the rule with uh, my storyboards? 
you don't get anything in the rim because that's where you're going to fill to seal. How do you get them so clear? I don't know. I think it just, I chose for these, Jen, these were just like really good quality images. Do you have to seal them before cutting them out? Yes, Ashley, because I have an inkjet printer. I have to seal the water slides before using them. I sealed it two or three times, I think, with gloss clear matte enamel. A laser one, if you have a laser printer, you don't have to seal it. Okay, I don't have glow powder, just glow micas, and they don't glow bright enough for me. The more the more you use mica, the more it glows. And that's the same rule with the powder. The more powder you use, the stronger the glow. So the more um, glow mica you use, the more the glow. The stronger it is. So I'm going to cut around all this extra white. I mean, it's not going to show anyway because this is a clear water slide. Yeah, try adding more and see if it works. Yeah, just like Nikki said, the more you use, the more it um the more shine. So let's drop in the mayor and then Sally is gonna go right there. Quick curling up. Yeah, let me know if that works. But the more you use, the more the more glow you get. And y'all, I'll show you the Beetlejuice cup. I got. I was going to finish it last night, but then because of that other drama, uh, I didn't get a chance to. So I got to finish peeling vinyl tonight. Like you know, pe reading vinyl already gets you all frustrated. So like I was already like up to here with this stupid thing. I've used so much just trying to add a tiny bit of mica powder. I didn't think about doing that. Oh, okay. Here's the mayor. Look how cute he is, you guys. Even with the little shadow under him, I love that extra little detail. I was able to keep that when I went and, um, like, removed background, edited the image. I was able to keep the little shadow. Super cute. It's so Super. Yeah, it's just like little details, you know? I like to keep the little, the little things. The little, little, little things. So, and then I have, this one came out really good too. I don't know if you can see that. I don't, I know you can't tell how good, there you go. How good quality that image is. Look at this. This came out really good too. Really good and clear. He is going to get that white, extra white trimmed off. Okay. The littles are so cute. They're sound asleep. So he's gonna go right her. And the brand of water slide paper I use is Sunny Scopa from Amazon. I'm going to try to get some sleep, Helen, so I'll catch yours. Night, Bonnie. Get you some sleep. I'll be thinking about you, hon. I hope you feel better with your headache. Let me 
wet the area. And he's already coming off. So all I'm doing with this paper towel is blotting um, the image to dry it faster. You don't have to do this, it's just what I'm doing. Look. Me too, I'm exhausted. I'm pain management. Get you some sleep, Linda. So we're almost done with this, you guys. I'm just going to fill up this side. And then we'll call it a night. But this, these are cute, right? Totally fill in those lines and keep... So what I did is I took characters that aren't already covered in these extra images. So there's Zero, there's Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie Boys, Jack, and all of that. So I try to add in the other characters that aren't in the image already. So... Okay. I'm just chilling with my heating pad and medicine finally. Nice, Denira. What do you use triple thick for? Triple thick? I don't use it. I mean, no, some people use it for sealing, for water slides. Um, but I don't use it to seal my water slides. I just use um, gloss matte, gloss matte enamel spray. And that's all I use. But other people use it to seal, like Nikki said. Nick knows. Nick knows. Y'all, they are coming off super quick lately. They never come off this quick before. It's a good crafting night when everything works. I use it for sealing chunky glitter. I was about to say sewing. I'm heading to bed. I gotta get up early to dig stuff out of storage tomorrow. Oh, get you some sleep, Helena. Look how cute Sally is, you guys. Can I use it like a, as a sticker, like an adhesive? I don't know. What do y'all think? You think she could? Well, Nikki said she can. I don't know. I don't use it like that. So I've used the three other water slide images I took. I should have took one more from something, but I wanted to play with some of these other tattoo images I have. Now we can pick one. We've already got the mayor. We have Sally. What does this say? Now and forever. So I'm going to cut out this tattoo right here, and it's just Jack's name. 
I know the other one had his name too. So there's his name. And... I should be asleep. It's 11.40 here and I work at 6 a.m. What am I doing? Watching you while peeling vinyl for my peekaboo and a source of mama source cup. Right? I'm just... I'm just working. I never sleep. Some of y'all should know that because you know I'm always, like, active answering questions. Let's do a pumpkin. I did have that little bad guy too. So we'll do the little bad guy too. Okay. Let's work with these and then we'll go from there. Because I have a ton of images. But I like to keep things... differentiated I guess you could say everything's a little different sleep is overrated I'm a night owl too Nikki honest to god I truly am so we'll put Jack right here and this guy right there So for tattoos, make sure you take off the plastic and you're going to stick it where you want it. Once it's adhered, it's, it's done. Yes. You can use a washcloth. I'm just going to wet my finger and wet the background. You want it nice and soaked. So you get, you get a good adhesion. Good thing I work for my home. Lunchtime is my nap time. <laughs> I sleep maybe about five hours and that's it. Perfect. There's the tattoo. That's one. And we'll do this little guy. Can you help me code? Dude, I have no idea. You want it moist. You do, Nikki. Oh, girl, Nikki, you're going to give me trouble. It's going to be x rated. Uh... Ah! X-rated tutorials. I work from home too. I'm working right now. This is what I do. That and raise children for now. Nice and wet. Moist, dirty, and glitterified. Yes, Nikki. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. But 
Bearded little guy. This is so cute. I'm on medical leave until the 27th and starting school. Oh, you're starting school? You guys, I'm so happy with this. I wonder where I could put this pumpkin. I wonder if I could fit it right there. Right there. I do have a smaller pumpkin. What do you guys think? Should I just leave it as is now? Or add a pumpkin? Oh, for heavy equipment operations. Guys, my back has to pop so bad. Yay or nay to the pumpkin adding? Has anyone here done a zipper cup? I want to do one, but don't know where to get the zippers. Brandy, I have debated doing a zipper cup. Um, I like this one better than the last one. Yeah, I think so too, Jen. It, it's better the second time around. Okay, I'll leave it alone. So, um, I have debated doing a zipper cup for you guys. I've, um, I just don't know what kind of zipper design to do. I am getting that um, final in too. So if you guys see something you would like for me to do, of course you know I'm gonna twist it around because I don't make exact replicas of anyone's work. Um, let me know and we'll see about getting a zipper for a zipper cup. Maybe like, um, maybe I could do one like Superman. So I, my husband finally decided on a cup. He wants a Breaking Bad cup. And he wants it smoked, but the smoke in yellow and green. So what I did was when um, the 4th of July stands were open, I got some neon smoke bombs. And we're going to try to smoke a cup in yellow smoke bomb in a green smoke bomb. What do you guys think? Make Panda a cleavage cup. But, ooh, you know what? It would be cool as, like, an Elvira cup. Printer suggestions. Jenny, I use an, I use an HP Photo NV. 7155. That's what I have. Does it matter what zippers? I wouldn't think so, Brandy. I think as long as it's a zipper and we'll adhere it. Yeah, he wants a Breaking Bad cup. And the opening scene has, like, yellow smoke and green smoke. So, um, yeah, I had thought about the smoke when I did my very first smoke bomb, smoke effect cup when I started making cups. I did a smoke effect. And I was like, if I only had smoke bombs to try for it. Good luck. I've seen them turn out awesome when I tried the smoke. Didn't stick and ended up a little burn marks. I mean, we can try, Lanny. If it works, it works. If not, um, maybe I'll just spray paint the cup green and yellow and smoke the green and yellow. You know what I mean? Elvira would be cool, though. Like, make it like a black lace look and then do the cleavage. I sell bad reviews on this one. Yeah, mine is great, Jenny. I love mine. I don't have any issues with it. I got, uh, I think my husband got it for me on Amazon. But yeah, so we're going to leave this as is, you guys. I'm super happy with that. I think it looks great. And it'll have the pumpkins, the bats, the spiders, and the snowflakes inside to, um, give it more depth. I couldn't think of the word. HP is great with instinct. Yes. And I do have the instinct, like Nikki mentioned. I have, I have metal, but size, just make sure what is not only too big, size of the cup you're going to do. I did a big cup with an eight inch zipper. Ooh. Oh, well, that makes sense, Erica, to make sure that it's um, the right size. But yeah, I think the, the Breaking Bad cup is going to be really neat. Uh, we're going to try the smoke bombs. 
I bought a bunch of smoke bombs for that reason. Yeah, Lanny, we'll try. I mean, if it works, it works. It don't, it don't. Can't say we didn't try. It's lots of things, lots of techniques are all a hit and miss. Really, just a hit and a miss. Catherine. Oh, Catherine. What happened with the person? Girl. Someone went and made a copycat page to boost themselves. Uh, we talked about it at the beginning of the the live. I notified everyone about it. It's a long story. I haven't seen a smoke bomb cup. Interesting. Yeah, I I thought about it when I was smoking my first my my very first smoke effect. I thought, what if we could make it a colored smoke? So I found that really interesting to try. So that's when I went ahead and um, decided to do that. So that's water slides. I love doing water slides. I find them real easy. But the Breaking Bad cup, I think, is going to be fun. <laughs> Nikki. Yeah, I was really upset about that last night when I saw that. Um, wasn't happy. Yeah, but we talked about that um, when I first got on. I let everybody know just because that's a big faux pas. Big faux pas. So that's water slides, but we're going to try the smoke effect. So let me see. Let me tell you guys. We got smoke effect coming up. We're going to finish um, this one. I'm going to do the white glitter on this tonight. And Lanny, I think you said you wanted to see, what was it? White diamonds from Stacy, right? I'm going to have to rewatch because I have questions for the Helen and Pop. She wasn't on it, Catherine. She went and made a straight copycat group, almost the ex exact same name, and just wants to boost herself. Yes, that was it. Okay, Lanny. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'll put this one on, and if you want, I'll PM you like pics, and you can then see what it looks like. I think this will look really good, honestly. What do you think? I think that'll look bomb with that. Because I love her white diamonds. I was thinking that. She has Peak of Sunshine too. And this has more of a gold. Gold glitter flake to it. Dude is the box. Does this bag have a hole in it? I think my bag has a hole in it. Or it has glitter on it. I can't tell. Yeah I think it will look pretty good. So we're going to have to try that. Yeah, I'm going to put that one on there. So what I'll do is I'm going to tape up the red so it doesn't get on there. I'm going to epoxy these white areas and then drop the, the white. So we'll do that. How much fruit have you had tonight? Here, take them to the kitchen. Yeah, you can have an apple. Carefully, don't, don't spill it. Not sunshine, too much yellow on that one. Yeah, it's definitely got a... Um, a more yellow sparkle so I don't want that one I want more pure uh, pure white so we'll try white diamonds and uh, I liked mirror mirror too but that's got a lot of silver in it I want as pure white as I can get it and then I'll show you guys the Beetlejuice cup so far it says it's showtime and then this one is in I think this font is chiller it's called, and this one says, I'm the ghost with the most. You gotta have that one. And then this one says, um, though I know I should be wary, still I venture someplace scary. Ghostly hauntings I turn loose. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then there it is. He wants to throw an apple at whatever made that sound. <laughs> he probably would. And then I got Beetlejuice right there. I've got Lydia in the red dress and then her saying, I myself am strange and unusual. And then of course I've got the sandworm on the bottom because they're in the underworld. And then it says it's showtime right here. In this one, this font, the drippy scary movie font, uh, is, uh, I'll have to look, but I can tell you guys what that font is. I'm there. Have this I can't find the apples are in the bottom drawer in a bag. Yeah, you can have a 
but I was pretty happy with this one. I just got to finish it. Uh, the other saying I have is never trust the living. And then the other, of course I have to put, um, I will go insane and I will take you with me. I say that to my husband all the time. So that one is going to be on there too. And then I'll probably put those two sayings up here above these. And then in the middle of this, I'll probably put maybe another picture. Looks so cool. I'm getting ready to make a Hocus Pocus cup. For a spawn I have in a shop during October. I might make a Beetlejuice one too because this is... Do it, Catherine. We're going to make a Hocus Pocus cup too. I'm still deciding exactly how I want to do it, but I'll probably do a purple drip on it. So similar to um, the one we just did tonight, like Winnie the Pooh, where it looks like honey, but we'll do a purple one. That's lit out. So we'll do purple. And I haven't decided um, which images I want to use yet. Oh, I will, Nikki. I'm going to do... Um, I spent a lot of time working on all of the Dr. Seuss images. There is going to be as many book characters as I can put on it for a collage as I can to make it legit. Like the Lorax, the Sneetches, the Cat in the Hat, thing one, thing two. Um, the kids, the Grinch, um, the Lorax, all of them. I think I'm going to make a half picture of the sister and the other half of the book. Oh, that would be good. It could, oh, Catherine, like it's looking in the book. Like they're reading the book. That would be cool. That would be cool. Like they're opening the book. I haven't decided. I know a lot of people use the same two kind of pictures. So I looked through a lot of other Hocus Pocus cups. So that way I could make one that's different. I want it to be different. That's that's my main goal. I want us to make a Hocus Pocus cup together that'll be a little more unique. Yeah, it'll have sneeches. Yeah, Nikki, it's going to be adorable. And I've got a really cute Dr. Seuss logo. And um, I'm going to have his uh, signature on the bottom. His actual signature. I wanted a 3D effect with a book. Oh, that'd be neat. I can't wait to see how you do that. You're going to have to show us. But I like that idea. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do it yet. I'm still going to look through images if I want to make it one single solitary look or a movie compilation uh, collage. So I'm still debating that. And I'm thinking of the exact glitter background I want to use. I might do a black tacket method. I haven't decided yet. I think it would be cool. I will. It's marinating. In my yeah, that's basically how I feel about mine. Like it's sitting here and it's twirling around and I'll figure out exactly what. I haven't decided yet, but I'm thinking maybe a, a black holographic tacket would be really cool. Similar to the Alice in Wonderland when I started. Um, if I like the way it looks to Alice in Wonderland, I might do it for Hocus Pocus. I'm not sure, but I do want to do a purple drip on it. A lot of people use the lime green, but I'm going to use that on the Fortnite cup. So, to recap, guys, we are going to do um, a Fortnite cup coming up. I'm ordering the stuff Thursday. We have a Hocus Pocus cup coming up, a Breaking Bad cup for my husband. I just did a Selena cup that had to marinate for a week or so before it started. <laughs> nice! I want to see the Selena cup. Post pictures. Um, we're going to, I'll finish up Beetlejuice. Um, we'll, I'll go live when I keep doing different parts of the storyboard, just to reiterate what we already know. I'm going to finish up Dr. Seuss. Uh, I went blank and, um, we'll try the smoke bomb look. Black tacket is awesome. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Nikki. You see what I mean? I was thinking like, mm, that would be cool. If I could get the right black glitter for that, um, I think it'd be phenomenal. I haven't seen that yet. A lot of people use the really colorful um, purples and stuff for it. I want to be different. You know me. All right, guys. We're going to call it a night. It is late. Um, I had a lot of fun tonight. We talked about a lot of crazy stuff. Um, so I hope all of you had fun. Thank you for sticking with me through this whole thing. Um, I know a lot of people have already went to bed. So um, we will reconvene 
uh, probably to, well, maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll prep a, a wine cup or something and see what I've got. We'll start something. And then we have the split princess cup. Once I get the glitters in for that, we'll do the split princess. So it'll be half, um, it's going to be half Little Mermaid, half Beauty and the Beast. And it'll have a line down the middle, like similar to the flag cup with uh, glitter. So that'll be fun too. And then, you know, whatever other orders I get. I made my son a charcoal tacket. He loves it. Oh, nice, Nikki. <laughs> De Niro, yes. Girl, I'm surprised you didn't pass out now. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Okay, guys. I hope all of you had a great time with me. Um, I'm sorry we had to talk about the drama thing. Uh, I really, really hate having to deal with that stuff. But from what I've learned from people who've been in the cup world longer than I have, it's just kind of part of it. So we're really going to work um, together. Remember, I love all of you. You ever need help when you're working, just PM me. I will message you back. Um, I'm here to help. That's what I'm... That's the whole reason for this group and to have some fun. So um, you guys need me. You know where to find me. I hope all of you stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy out there, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.